no, 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 I was there. I, I think when you can see your breath, God's trying to get your attention. <laughs> I'm not used to winter, and I'm driving out to, uh, out of the airport, and I decide to take uh, Highway 12, which happens to go directly to Fort Atkinson, the cultural hub that I was playing in. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's Manaheim Road out of, out of O'Hare Airport, and then it just becomes 12, and it goes all the way to Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. So I'm driving, and it is snowing like crazy. It's February, and it's snowing and snowing and snowing, and uh, and, and it's sticking, you know? And I'm not used to this going to California, you know, except for the earthquake, you know, and the fires and the floods. And, Dorothy and the drive by shooting stuff. systems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's getting heavier and heavier. I'm thinking, this isn't good. And I, and I turn on the radio, figuring I'll get the, you know, some kind of report on it. And I happen to get Wisconsin Public Radio, because I'm now out in Palatine or someplace out there, wandering oh, no. north or I don't know where I was. Close so, to nowhere. Uh, yeah, right. And, and uh, <laughs> there was so much snow that I swear to you, this is true, the roads just disappeared. You know, because it's it's sort of flat, you know, and and uh, so when the snow just laid on everything, pretty soon there weren't any roads, but the fence posts were still sticking up. So I thought, well, you know, if I stay with this, then I'll keep it, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, and so I, I had a gig. I'm going to Wisconsin, and so I'm driving and driving, turning the radio, and Wisconsin Public Radio says, uh, uh, "Traveler warning, uh, storm warning, travel, traveler advisory." That's what they call it. Traveler advisory, and they said. Uh, Wisconsin is closed. <laughs> Can they do that? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Just close down the state before? Yes. I didn't know that was an option. You know? You've obviously never been to the Dakotas in the winter. They put gates across the roads in some yeah. of those places. Yes, they do. Even in June, they go. Well, thanks for the warning. <laughs> no, I'm never going to go to a place where they close the state because of the weather. <laughs> I'll go to the state where we have the governor from another country. Who <laughs> <laughs> was appointed, in fact. I actually removed the governor because they didn't like him. I, I said, that's a bad precedent, kids. You know what I mean? He won the election. We really got to ride with this. That's, that's the law. They went, no, that's not the law. We have, anyhow, don't get me started. We're trying to do no politics. So, so uh, pretty soon it's foggy and it's snowy. And and uh, and the roads are gone, and I'm thinking, this is this is awful. This is really awful, you know. But I made it to the gate, and uh, 17 people came. But you know, I thought Wisconsin's closed, you know. So this is really good. You know? <laughs> Plus, I, I sold them 11 CDs, so you know, percentage-wise, I was kicking ass. <laughs> And, uh, and the car breaks down. Uh, I'm thinking, this is a rental car. You know, my car breaks down. I'm a musician, but a rental car isn't supposed to do that. And I didn't have a cell phone. I, the only person I had a cell phone then was Mulder, you know, so. Remember, that was the whole shtick of the, of the show, was the guy, you could call the guy in your kutz. So you, yeah, yeah, I'm right. You know, in any event, uh, I had no phone run out there, and, uh, and I'm freezing in the, in the cold, and I'm, I'm hitchhiking. And, you would be astounded at the supreme indifference with which a gray-haired man is met while hitchhiking. <laughs> you know, if I was Pamela Anderson, you know, but an old ball guy is like, nah, nah, what's me know? Get a job, get some hair, you know. <laughs> Just going to point out, you should have wished you were your friend Steve. What about him? He was hitchhiking, he got picked up. He was, yeah, old, he yeah. was young and he was lost. Oh. Yeah, yeah, don't think of anything. Thank you, Julie. And so will you. Be careful. There's something about writing in the snow that I, I can't... Oh, that's right. I started writing a song. I can't remember how it goes, man. I told it more ago. So I was writing a song in the snow, and, uh, and I hadn't had enough to drink, so I couldn't finish the song. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, standing in the, in the cold, I got this idea for this song. So I'll try to sing it for you all. But I'm not sure I can remember it. It's 600 verses. So. Because they didn't pick me up until spring. <laughs> you were in Wisconsin. Had you been in Michigan, you would have gotten a ride. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you're right. Ever. That's happened to me this year. 
Just the walls to burn to keep you warm. 